School coverage continues this morning. Cell phones in the classroom to ban or not to ban. All right, so we did find some policies throughout the state that really varied greatly from district to district. Some schools say turn them off, don't even bring them to school. Others are actually integrating cell phones now into their curriculum. I want to see reporter Stephen Shadow explores both sides of the debate in Cranston. Trying to separate a teen from his or her smartphone can be a losing battle. So some local school districts are no longer fighting it. Well, years ago, it was note passing. Now it's sending text messages. While some school districts ban cell phone use during the day, like in Woonsocket, others are more relaxed, like Seekonk, which allows phones at lunchtime and breaks at the high school. At Cranston High School West, students are actually encouraged to bring their devices to school. It's called BYOD. It's important in this day and age to know that a lot of what everyone does with cell phones um, is learning. Cranston West Assistant Principal John Fontaine says the high school installed Wi-Fi in every classroom, a $1.9 million project, the majority of which was paid for with a Rhode Island Department of Education grant. Smartphones, tablets, and laptops all encouraged to connect. Students can use them at lunch, in the hallways, and in classrooms with teacher permission. Web-based research incorporated into lessons. Facebook is blocked by the network, but other social media sites are fair game. So there are opportunities to use social media for learning, um, and we try and embrace that. How do you make sure that they're not just on Instagram or, you know, off task? Just like anyone else may check their phone for a tweet or a post on Instagram, that may be happening in a classroom, but our students are learning, you know, how to get back to the work and get the work done. I think that it's an important skill that uh, students are getting here at West. In Woonsocket, the school department bans students from using cell phones on school property. High school principal Carnell Henderson tells us why. Well, just the distraction purposes alone, I and mean, we understand that all students have them now, but we just discourage it for just the promotional use of just students communicating. Fontaine acknowledged those drawbacks to the Cranston model, but he says it could be a severe disservice to ban devices. We can't let the disruptions and the distractions curtail us from the ultimate goal, which is providing kids with a 21st century learning expectation that allows them to use the tools available to them that they will be using in the future to be a better student. Of course, one other drawback to the bring your own device model is not every kid has a device. Fontaine says they do have laptops and tablets available in school for students to use. In Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.